This is Steve. And this is Sean. This is Acumenius High Five. So Steve, what are we talking about? We're gonna be talking about the first feature of Urban Hipster Plus, also known as UH Plus, because it's Urban Hipster Plus. And it's the Axe Builder. And Urban Hipster is? Oh, our Commerce 2, Drupal Commerce 2 demo. Mm -hmm. If you're um, a fan, you would already know that, but if you're new, yes. that's what it is. AKA, if you don't know what we're talking about, watch our previous 11 minute video on what the UH demo is all about. Mm -hmm. It's very important that you do that. <laughs> um, Anyways, the, the custom axe builder um, in reality is more than just a custom axe builder. It, it, it draws on the idea of if you are an e-commerce business or you have a product that you're trying to sell online, in some cases a product catalog and just you know, having product pages is going to satisfy your end user. But in some cases, when you produce your own product or you only have a few different products that you sell, a product showcase is actually a better way to demonstrate and sell your products. Somewhat think of the difference between if you buy something on Amazon or if you buy something um, from Apple. Yeah. You know, Amazon yeah. is just a huge big list of products and all the pages pretty much look the same. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if you go on Apple, say you're buying a new iPhone, you know, there's going to be a whole huge page that is completely custom to the iPhone with fancy graphics, mm -hmm. you know, built in and, and special features and CTAs and it's going to be completely unique to that product. And what we had mentioned in the last video mm -hmm. is everything that you see on the UH demo is is items that have been configured without actual any software development at all. Mm -hmm. So uh, in terms of when you go and you look at this part of the demo, which will have a link that you, of course you can check out, um, and you start looking at you know, um, how amazing this feature is, you really just start seeing that it's just how the content is being viewed and how it's being laid out. Um, there isn't necessarily any fancy footwork behind the scenes, which is really cool. When you behind the scenes, it's just it. pick some attributes and add to your cart, right? It's, yeah. it's actually the same product page. It just looks wildly different. Mm -hmm. And so from an end user perspective, by you configuring your, pro your product pages this way, you can of course kind of go on what Sean had said as the, the Apple example and be able to showcase your product. So by the time you get to a part of the web page in, in, in which you want the person to actually perform an action, such as adding the product to cart or purchase or put a review or whatever that might be, they have the ability to do that with of course, you know, all of the graphics and the CTAs that you might want to put on, this, on the page to make it really special and unique. Um, that being said, um, if I understand correctly, the functionality behind it is a tool called Paragraphs, um, and uh, it, it's, it's kind of similar to, um, you know, uh, what is that? Well, I can't think of the function. Panels? Yeah, panels, mm -hmm. except not quite as rigid as being like, here's a certain specific layout. It has a little, yeah, it's a little it's different. Yeah, it's a little bit simpler. Um, that's not even almost a perfect word, but it makes it a lot um, easier to work with. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have quite as, sort of a breadth of functionality, but you usually don't need that functionality, so it makes it really easy to work with. And it lets you do all those customizations of where you want to put everything and moving it around, and I want to have some big images here, and, and it doesn't have to just be an image like, you know, on a product page where you have a box and you click that image and then you mm -hmm. can scroll through, right? They can be built into the design, you know, they can be full page, they can slide, you know, as you, you know, if you're uh, viewing it on different size of screens and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it, it's both looks very custom and is surprisingly configurable through the back end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Specific to the demo, um, the way that it, it flows is, of course, talking about what the axe is, um, you know, what its purpose is, but then as you go through, you're able to then configure and pick what type of handle you want with the design on the handle, um, how, how big um, the axe would be, whether or not you want a sheath and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and when it gets added then to your cart, um, it's actually a very unique item at that point with all the different variations you've chosen, mm -hmm. which is just handled by product variations itself. So yeah, we're back. We're back to default functionality at yeah. that point. Mm -hmm. So although it looks like again you're you're doing something incredibly custom, you're really not. It's just building the product, and the way that that product exists is the same that any other product would have existed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, that's that's pretty much it. It's pretty powerful. Like, I, what else yeah. do you think we should really um, add? Just that there is a bit of uh, sort of custom work on there. Mm -hmm. uh, not too much. It's actually mostly still out of the box. Um, but to separate it from some of the Urban Harvest stuff, there is a little bit of custom Urban hipster work. stuff. Urban Harvest oh, is the groceries. We're so close. <laughs> Urban Harvest is a place that uh, delivers me groceries every day. <laughs> and I was so close to not accidentally saying that. Good try. Um, if Keep we going. say it again, we'll put a counter down at the bottom. Okay. I'll try not to, though. Um, 
So there is a little bit of custom functionality there, so we don't want to pretend that you can do that entirely out of the box. You can honestly get reasonably close, mm -hmm. um, but some of the more complex design elements and stuff did require a little bit of custom code. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, one thing we could touch on a little bit is, um, you know, from a back-end perspective, you know, identifying that there is truly no difference in which, let's say you, you buy a, a green t-shirt, as mm -hmm. an example, that goes in and then when, when you receive that order from the back end, you see that that person bought a medium green t-shirt. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, it's very much the same thing. In the axe version, you have you know, a, a X inch axe with mm -hmm. whether or not it had a sheath on it and it has a specific handle on it, which is the exact same thing. So there is no difference in how you fulfill the order either. Again, it's just a way of displaying your product. It's not even uncommon actually to have uh, both ways of viewing the product. To have a, a you know a big fancy sort of uh, configuration page you know that explains all about um, the product, but then also have it sort of available in the regular catalog mm -hmm. because people might get to it by either means, mm -hmm. um, and so you want to have that there. And maybe you sort of route them to your fancy page, or maybe you even they can add it to the cart just like they would add any other item. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and regarding the uh, the axe, what's our too long to read today? You can make big, nice, fancy pages with Drupal Commerce that look really cool and just as awesome as Apple would ever do. Yeah. Um, it's mostly using the same functionality. It's really not that difficult. Right on. Mm -hmm. um, please make our dream come true by subscribing to our channel. We need a thousand subscribers. That's what our marketing team keeps telling us. And if you have any questions or comments, please do so below uh, because we'd be happy to respond to your comments and answer your questions. We don't actually get paid at all until we reach a thousand subscribers. So exactly. please do. <laughs> um, you can also follow us on Facebook, uh, follow our blog at acromedia.com, and follow me on Twitter.